What's going on everybody? This is your host C Weezy coming back at you today with another video. Today we're going to get into how to install NCAA Next 24 for NCAA Football 06. Um, yes, they have a step-by-step -step guide in order to you know help you install the mod and they also have a 56 minute how-to video but um, even I had trouble um, getting this thing installed and working properly watching that 56 minute video multiple times reading over their installation guide multiple times I still had trouble figuring it out and I will admit it is an easy process and it only takes five to ten minutes to do when you know how to do it but it's just getting to know how to do it and hopefully today I can show y'all how to do it at least on the PC side of things um, and if you're trying to get this on your phone um, the Steam Deck or get it on your Xbox Series X or S you're going to have to, you're going to, have to follow their step-by-step -step guide um, to do those things um, for one I don't have an Xbox Series X or S so I can't show y'all how to, to finish the process but today what I'm going to do is show you how to get it set up on the PCSX2 emulator on the PC and also show you how to get it ready to go on other platforms if you, if you get what I'm saying so uh, without further ado we're gonna get right on into it um, first you want to go to their website NCAA next you want to scroll down and you want to click on NCAA next 24 version 14.1 patch released which takes you to this page right here you want to scroll down and you want to download this file right here NCAA next 24 ISO mod files 14.1 14.1 zip okay that's one out of the three files you need to download okay next you need to down download this um it's this base textures in four parts is the same thing as this i would recommend downloading the base textures but if you're having trouble getting it to download go to the uh, four part one right here and um it, what it pretty much does is it separates it in the four parts where it's not such a big file and it's a little bit easier to download than the regular one but if you can get the regular one to download download that one first if not do this one okay so that's the second file <coughs> excuse me the third file is this add-on pack one which is the point one to the version 14 which updates a few like uh, uniforms helmets textures stuff like that so File number one, file number two, either one, take your pick, and then there's file number three. That's the three files you need. Now, they're going to come into, um, what do you call it, zip format. Like this, they're going to have a little folder with a, a zipper on it. What you want to gonna do is um, right-click it, and you're going to want to use uh, WinRAR or 7-zip to extract it. And when you extract it, it's going to look like a regular folder, okay? Now, once you get those three things downloaded and you have them unzipped, that's where the fun begins. Now, you do need a copy of NCAA Football 06, okay? I would highly recommend you own the game and you get it on your computer somehow. Don't ask me how to do that. I'm not... 100% uh, sure on how to do that because I had somebody else help me with it. But there's other ways to get NCAA Football 06, but I'm not going to tell you how because of copyright infringement and things like that. But anyway, here is my copy of NCAA Football 06 right here. Now, what you do with this, once you have NCAA Football 06 on your computer, what you're going to do is you're going to take this and right-click it and come to open with and go to Windows Explorer, which is going to pull this up, which is all the files and, and stuff like that for the game. You're going to want to create a new folder, NCAA 06 Next, or, or call it whatever you would like, okay? It honestly does not matter. But what we're going to do in this situation is this. We're going to copy all of this. And we're going to paste it in this new folder right here. 
Okay, boom. That part's done. Now what you're going to want to do is go back to your downloads folder. And you're going to want to go to the NCAA Next ISO Mod Files version 14.1. Now, do not copy this install. Just copy the... Oops, sorry. Just copy the SLUS uh, underscore 212.14 and the data. You want to copy it. And you want to paste it over here. And then you're going to want to click on replace the files in the destination. Okay? I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. But that's what you want to do. You want to click on replace the files in the destination. Now, once you've done that, you're going to want to uh, open up Image Burn, which is a program that you're also going to have to install um, to get this to work properly. Um, they have a link to this uh, program on the website. Um, it's going to say, it's going to ask you some permissions on your computer. You just accept it. Um, I've had this on my computer for a few weeks now. I haven't had any issues out of it. If you're worried about doing it, doing something to your computer, I have not had any problems. I'm not saying you're not going to have any, but I have not had any. And I don't think they would recommend it if they knew it would have problems. Anyway, once you get that folder set up, what you're going to want to do is come to Image Burn, okay? Click on this. And the first thing you want to click on is Create Image File from Files and Folders. Now, you're going to want to come over here where it says source and then click on this yellow folder with the magnifying glass click on it you're going to want to go to your desktop and go to NCAA 06 next and select folder and then you're going to make the destination the same thing so the new image will be put into this folder right here the same one you're getting it from and you're going to select this and it's going to come up you're going to select build right here this button right here and it's going to ask you a few things you just say yes you're going to get hear a little uh sound at least once or twice and there you go um this is what mine looks like right here after i got done doing it this is the final shebang right here and that's it as far as getting the game and mods installed properly. Now, the textures, you're going to want to come to your PCSX2 emulator, which it should look like this. There's the actual emulator itself, and here's all the other files and stuff that goes along with it. What you're going to want to do with the textures folder that you downloaded is this right here. Let me go to my downloads. Uh, you want to click on this next 24 textures and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on this textures folder and then you're going to come over here to this textures folder and you're going to copy both of these and put right in here to this folder and once you do that we're actually going to go into the emulator itself and this should be a pretty easy process of setting up the emulator. I had an easy time setting this up. They have a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up the emulator itself on PCSX2. Uh, but what you want to do with graphics to get the textures loaded in uh, properly, you just want to go to um, Settings, Graphics, Texture Replacement, and you want to make sure that Load Textures and Async Texture Loading is checked marked. Once you do those those things, at least with the PCSX2 emulator on PC, the game should be running properly. Now, um, as far as like the phone, the Steam Deck, the Xbox Series X and S, I could show y'all the Steam Deck and I could show you how to do the phone. Let me know in the comments if y'all need some help with that. I don't mind doing that either. But as far as the Xbox Series X and S goes, I do not own one anymore. So it's going to be really hard for me to show y'all how to do it when I don't have it. So if you at least follow the steps to set up the game like I showed you to 
get the ISO image correct, you should have a pretty easy time setting it up on other platforms as well. Um, just like I showed you with the textures, uh, the modded textures to put into the emulator itself, you do the same thing on the Steam Deck and um, the, the cell phones, Android phones. Well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope it really helps out. Um, like I said, I had a really hard time the first few times I did it, but after I figured it out, it was pretty easy. Um, let me know if this guy's, uh, let me know if this helped you. If you need some more help, please feel free to ask. I don't mind helping. I'll help you as best I can. Um, as far as the PC goes, y'all should be set. If not, like I said, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to try to assist you. That's been it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.